Hey everybody, my name's Andrew Douglas here from Dojo University, and we've just launched our all new course all about instrument fundamentals. Many of you purchased our Fingerwork Fundamentals course, and this is the sister course that deals with how to get your bagpipes to sound great. So let me ask you this, have you ever had any trouble getting your instrument to sound the way that you want it to? And I know for myself, especially when I was beginning, there's so many different things going on and I wanna know exactly what I need to be thinking about at any given time in order to improve my sound. That's what this course is gonna be all about. And if the answer to that question was, yeah, of course I wanna sound better, then I would urge you to check out this course and uh, we're running a special on it right now where you get a huge deal. You can scroll down on the page here to find that. But let's talk about some of the things we're gonna cover in our course. This is what it looks like when you log in to the course and you can see all these different topics here. We're gonna start with what we call a bagpipe tree of sound, which is how we visualize bagpipe sound. And we're actually gonna build it from the ground up. I've been very fortunate and lucky in my own bagpipe career to have been taught these skills over a long period of time. But one of the things I wanna do is I wanna take luck out of the equation and I wanna show you guys how to build a sound the way that I've been taught to do by many, many famous pipers. So we're gonna start with this bagpipe tree. You know, every great dojo needs a tree, of course. You know, and we're gonna build it from the bottom. We're gonna build with the roots of bagpipe maintenance, go up through tonal quality, and then only after we've, we've uh, built that foundation are we gonna talk about tuning. So then next we're going to talk about uh, bagpipe maintenance, okay, as the base of the tree. And we're going to go through exactly every single step in a logical order. And we're going to show you all the tricks that we know to get your bagpipe set up perfectly well. You know, can you honestly say your bagpipes are 110% efficient at all times when you play? And I'm willing to bet the answer is no. And if you think the answer is yes, that in our experience, that means you really need to think a little bit more about bagpipe maintenance. Okay, then we're going to talk about tonal quality, and this is something very few people talk about, but we don't just want to blow steadily on our bagpipes. We actually want to uh, achieve a great harmonic quality of tone, and that's going to be the main crux of the tonal quality part, and we're actually just going to steady our blowing at the end of this topic as sort of the icing on the cake. Now, once maintenance and tonal quality are taken care of, then we're going to go to tuning. And tuning is a big uh, megalith of a topic. And uh, there's actually 12 videos uh, that we go through to teach you the different pro uh, processes that you need to be able to tune your pipes. Although I will say this, once you understand the process, it's really not that difficult and anybody of any skill level is going to be able to tune. Uh, some follow-up chapters, once we've learned these basics, we're going to talk about developing the perfect routine to get yourself in tune, okay? And that, inv that involves also compensating for how your bagpipe changes over time, okay? Which is a big, big factor about piping that can seem really confusing, but we're gonna study all of this in this course. Advanced chanter read concepts. So once we know how to set up our bagpipes and we're getting a great sound and great tuning, how are we going to uh, adapt our chanter reads in order to uh, cr uh, produce that sound that we really, really want um, as unique um, musicians? who are playing music, you know, as an extension of themselves. And then lastly, we're going to talk about one of my great passions, which is getting this bagpipe sound to scale across an entire pipe section. So, uh, and then we'll conclude and we've got some special bonus materials as well. Let me just show you a little bit of the nitty gritty here. In each of these topics, uh, when we click on the topics, you're going to have access to all of these videos. And um, there's several videos in each chapter with a brief description. And uh, you'll be able to play each of these videos. And you'll also be able to download a PDF document uh, for each one of these sections, which is really useful, I think. And it's really something that uh, there's also room to take notes, right? So it's something that you can take with you for your whole piping career. All right, so anyway, that's what these look like. Let me go back to the course home here, and I'll just wrap up this teaser video by saying, scroll down, check out the amazing pricing that we have going on for a limited time. Check out those bonus materials. Read up on this course, and uh, we hope that you'll purchase with us uh, sometime soon so we can help share with you uh, the great instrument fundamentals that we've used to build our own success and the success of our students. So farewell, and hopefully we'll see you soon inside of the Instrument Fundamentals course.